Right, so let's do a review on this then. It's a 2004 Whirlpool, top of the range Whirlpool, 1600 spin, 6 kilo, 6 cents max. And truth told, I have never seen one. And that's why I bought this. I actually bought it, it wasn't broken. It was sold as working order, and it is in full working order. And condition-wise, I've given it a bit uh, a clean. It's not to my best standards. I've not fully cleaned it, but it didn't really need a, a thorough clean. It was pretty clean when it came to me anyway. And uh, it's safe to say that it's a really nice looking machine. Finished in silver. Right, so behind the door here, we've got a six kilogram drum. Uh, it's a proper split drum. This machine weighs an absolute ton. Um, to get it in the car, getting it out of the car, getting it in here, it's ridiculously heavy. I don't know the exact, exact weight, but considering it's got a plastic outer tub, these weigh a ton. Um, so it's rather unusual. That 6 kilogram drum is the same as the 7 kilogram uh, will pull that's even older that you will see later on at some point this year. Um, but just needs fixing first. Right, so when the machine is off, and I've turned the light off for this so you can see it, uh, even now you can just about see a little time uh, display there. I'm not 100% sure why it has a clock, because it doesn't really use the clock. Um, when washing, which you'll see later, but there is an actual reason why it does have an actual clock. Um, so when it's off like this, um, the clock appears here. If I press one of the buttons, you can just about see underneath it says, um, please turn the program dial on. <coughs> so that's what we're doing. But when we turn the program dial on, we have a full LCD display there. And it's in full English as well. And you can even change different uh, languages if you want, which I'll show you a bit later on. This button right here is the start button, and it glows uh, a blue, but it flashes um, when it's ready to be started. It will go solid when it has started. Uh, you can navigate the whole controls by using these buttons here. Now, one cool thing I like about this machine is this button here. It says info. When you press it, it will bring up the max low, max spin, and max temperature of that cycle that you have landed on. Now, obviously, it presets to 60 degrees on the cottons, but it's telling you that it goes up to a maximum of 95. So, right, this is where the clock comes into effect. When we press delay start here, you'll notice that the time flash is there and that's the time that the cycle will start at 1646 or 445 446 in the afternoon so we select the start line and then we can up increase the time and then this is actually starts when you want it to start but what's really cool about this is that you can start it at any minute of the next 24 hours and I'm not kidding, you have to hold it down to operate to get it to go faster. And as we can see, we're going into midnight now, 6 in the morning, 12 in the afternoon, all the way to 16.45, that's 23 hours and 59 minutes time, at any time you want. How cool is that? If you want to, we've accidentally started it, but to cancel it, you just have to go backwards. And you'll notice you got also that double beep now um, to say that it's at its maximum. That's the thing about this machine, it has a beeper, which is really nice. You've also got a reset button here, so within the cycle um, you can reset it now if you want. Um, if we press uh, start, uh, no, press OK to reset. And then it just resets the selections. If you're within a cycle, you press OK and it will completely, it will ditch the cycle it's on to allow you to select another program. Um, anyway, so to navigate, if you want options or different temperatures or a different spin, you have to first press menu. 
then you it will start flashing with the 60 degrees this is to change the temperature and as you notice as well time also changes with the temperature 60 degrees is longer simply because uh, this is a standard cycle but to actually select it you have to select economy which I'm going to show you later on um, when you're happy you can press uh, OK to confirm um, like so, so that's temperature set. Then it goes on to the next thing that's changeable, um, which is the spin speed. Now at any point you want to leave the options without having to go through all of them, you just press the back button, but it actually goes backwards. So you have to sort of press menu several times once you're inside the menu to get out the menu. So you can either go backwards or you can go press menu to go forwards until you've gone through all the options. So we'll press menu twice, right, we're on uh, the spin speed. Max spin speed for this machine is 1600 RPM. You can change the spin speed by obviously using the arrows. Um, and we can go down to no spin. Um, but here's the thing, so we select a thousand there. If you don't press OK, it will actually go back to 1600. But the thing is, it's gone onwards to the next option. If we press back here to go there, there we go. It's highlighted at 1600. But if we press down and press OK, it goes on to the next option. But now when we press back, 1000 RPM has been selected. Uh, we've got a pre-wash option, which will add a 19 minute pre-wash at the start uh, to get rid of dirt and um, dust, for example. Um, we can, we've got intensive rinse, INT is intensive, uh, it adds on an extra rinse, um, now to switch these on all you have to do is press up, wait till it's on, press OK and that will select the option, we've got a rinse hold option, I should have done the same with the pre-wash there, and then we've got extra care, now extra care is uh, an unusual thing. So what it does, it washes with a lower temperature than what's stated for a slightly longer duration using less water within the wash and the rinses. Uh, overall saving around 30% of energy according to it. <gasps> if you want the standard cycle on this you have to select cotton 60 and then you have to select extra care to select the standard cycle on this. Finally we've got Easy Iron, but I have used it and it doesn't adjust the spin or anything um, and it's yeah the creases are slightly better but it's still rather creased when they come out so it's not really worth any point using it really. Um, right so there are all your options. We've got synthetics, as your information, max load of two and a half kilo, so it's just under half. Um, to wash your synthetic garments, like your sportswear and stuff. Then we've got daily load, right? Now this allows you to wash a half load, three kilo. You can it's preset at twelve hundred because the idea is you wash mix both cotton and synthetics. And you can adjust the temperature from 30 all the way to 60 degrees. And it will take exactly one hour regardless. If you've got the French version of this machine, it's called Magic A40. Uh, then we've got Chrono 30. Now this is the actual mistake on this machine. Because Chrono is the French word for quick. So therefore it's actually Quick 30. The English version of... Well, this is the English machine. But it's supposed to be in English, say quick, with the 30 minute thingy logo. Um, and you also notice in here it says Rapid Plus. Now it uh, washes half load, 3 kilo of lightly soiled laundry. Max temperature of 60 degrees. And this is what's the impressive bit. And up to 1600 RPM as well. So um, the clothes are going to be really dry when they come out, ready to go and dry it, and it'll dry it quickly too, even on, so from a quick wash, normally quick washes have a limited final spin, usually a slow one, but in this case, it hasn't. Um, 
Then we've got a delicate cycle, um, has a limited spin, max load of a quarter, one and a half kilo. And we've got a wool cycle, which has a max of one kilo, or about three items. And we've got a hand wash cycle, which is basically the same as wool, but it does a short, it does a slow 400 RPM spin, and it's limited to 30 degrees rather than 40. And we've got nothing there. And then we got our settings. Now you can go in, you can change the language, you can set the clock, you can set the contrast, you can set the brightness of the display, you can set the buzzer, whether you want it or not, or how loud. You can set a child safety lock. Then we've got favourites. Now all these are empty, but what's impressive, and slightly unnecessary, is the fact you can save up to 10. You can save up to 10 personal favourites. But the thing is, there isn't that vast amount of choice. Um, obviously you've got seven basic programmes and most people probably use quick 30 minute wash as at 30 anyway. Uh, then we've got a drain programme, a short spin which is the wool final spin, that's why it's only three minutes long. And we've got the intensive spin, which is a normal cotton spin. Spin, which is uh, a cotton's rinse, final rinse, and spin. Although you can select intensive rinse, and then you can have two or three rinses plus the final rinse before doing the final spin. And that's everything on this. Right. So at the bottom here, we've got a filter. But to open it, you need something uh, slightly flat, like a flat bay screwdriver to try and open it, or maybe a kitchen knife to do that tab. It is slightly hard to get open, um, but once it's open, it's got a rather neat filter in the fact that it sort of comes upwards like that, and therefore it's, uh, and the flap also acts as a runoff, so you can easily put a dish under there to empty the water without again making a mess anywhere. So this is our detergent drawer, we've got our fabric softener compartment here, um, our two powder compartments, so the small one is if you add the pre-wash option, um, and you then always have to add uh, powder to the main, um, unless it's liquid, or gel, or liquid tabs, which in case they go straight in the drum. You've also here, which is also got the little marker on, um, but it's quite, it hasn't, looks like it's not been used, ever. This is why it's a bit stiff, yeah it's not been used in ages. Um, this is, can go in here and you can pour liquid detergent, or at least the early days liquid detergent, in. And then we can place it back in there. That's quite neat, the fact that you don't lose it, because um, they often get lost if it doesn't have its own space in the detergent drawer. Uh, right, so what we're going to do, we're going to select cotton, turn it on, we're going to press start, uh, sense alarm, door is open. I know you've seen it closed, but this, the door lock must be on its way out. Don't forget, like I said, it's a 15 year old washer. Right, there we are, we started, 60 degrees, you can add an item.
So you started the cycle and then you found that last item that you were meant to put in. Yep, that's all you do. Then you have to press start to resume. How cool is that? And I mean, it literally resumes. That click is normal there, where it starts doing other tumbles. It's gone from doing like slower to slightly faster tumbles, but it's still detecting the load slightly, uh, slightly basically. In the first 13 minutes of the cycle, of the cotton cycle anyway, it is trying to detect the load and it simply obviously detects it by how much water is taken on. Although, and the t-shirt didn't really add any water to it. Oh, maybe that was a bit of a lie. Right, so you just heard the door lock. That's what that click is. Um, and our time's also gone down. Now this is what our sense, sixth sense technology is. It detects the load size. It detects multiple load sizes too. I'm just giving you an example. So what we've got in there is like two sheets and a t-shirt. And obviously it's brought it down from two hours 20. Uh, albeit with 13 minutes, uh, 12 minutes sensing. It's so 1 hour 25. I put a low, uh, literally one towel in and some underwear, and that is like less than one kilo of laundry, and that detected um, drop the time from um, oh, it was 2 hours 8, which is where it senses, to just 1 hour 8. It took a whole hour off. Another thing to note here is where it says wash. That'll change to obviously rinse, when it gets to the rinse, to the first rinse, and it'll change the spin when it gets into the final spin.
That's still quite warm, actually. That's a bit weird. And whilst um, it might have done a slower spin due to an unbalance, I only think it said it there. So, I also think it will tell you if it's had an unbalanced load, whether it can't completely spin or it's had to spin at a slower speed. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really do it that often. Um, but at least it tells you. Right, so I'm not going to give this out of 10. I actually really like this machine, and as, as in I really love it. I'm not, I'm, I don't really have any intentions of selling it, actually, because it's quite a fairly interesting machine. Um, I was quite impressed what the daily load actually does three rinses, and I think Quick still does two or three anyway, which is rather impressive. The only downsides with this is that the quick 30 minute wash is 42 minutes long, although the rest of the cycle seem to stick there and thereabouts, or maybe 5 minutes more than the actual stated time at the start. So other than that, it's not a huge liar. Um, out of 10? 9. Because the only thing I don't like about this machine is this whole navigation system to go through the options and stuff. It's really complicated to use and it's really annoying. Um, once you start using it, you, you kind of get used to it, but it's still quite annoying to use. So other than that, uh, the machine's pretty much fine. Um, I know that someone might point out the fact that this is a 2004 machine, why hasn't it got like a brushless uh, DC motor on it or, um, or an inverter motor or anything like that. Well, just to also note is the fact that the Siemens um, IQ, which is their top of the range, had a DC cutter on the 2003 model in 2004, but by the time they got to 2006, their Siemens IQ, the top of the range one, changed from a DC cutter to a normal brush motor, which made the machine louder, yet it was the top of the range. So it's a bit weird with Siemens, yet opposite brands such as um, Heartpoint and Indesit went to brushless motors for their top of the range machines at the time. Indesit seems to stay the same and it's still 1600 RPM with a normal brushed motor saying that there's a new to do the same. And they had 1600s that also had a brushed motor. Um, clearly it's lasted though and clearly there isn't really any faults. The only other, the only little tiny fault well, two little tiny faults that this machine has over 15 years is the fact that the door lock's sort of worn, which is quite normal on most machines over 15 years old. Um, and I think the brushes are starting to basically wear out completely because every now and then it will struggle to do a tumble, but only like the odd one. And all the other times it seems to be fine. Though there's no hint on the actual noise of the motor to say that the brushes are going so... Yeah, other than that, it's a great machine, 15 years old, and it's a really nice nick. Definitely not for one for selling on. Right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the future. So bye for now, thanks for enjoying this video.